All right, so this is the second part of the compositing. We're going to go ahead and place an image file in here and see if we can get it to line up. It should, so I'm going to go to File. Well, actually, before I place it, what I need to do is create a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer, and it'll be current. And I'll go to File, Place, and I'll get that JPEG and place it. Okay, so it places it in here. It's a little too big. I'm going to rearrange it so we can see the vector work under it. If I go to the transform, however, and change the width to the 8 inches that was the size of the crop box that we set up, you'll see that once we get it there, it's really close to fitting exactly behind that piece. You may need to do a little adjustments still but that should get you really close. It looks like we need to make it just a little bit smaller. So 5.02. That looks pretty good to me. I don't know about you. Now, now that we've got these guys in here, what we can do is we can clean this up a little bit more. Maybe there seems to be a few stray um, lines in there. So I'm just going to turn this layer off and window in maybe right here and get rid of this line. Delete that. Don't like that line. That one's attached to another line, so I'll just subselect the uh, those pieces, get rid of it. So, and then we have some pieces that are missing that need to be filled in. So, if I come in and I want to window in on this area right here, I can come in and use the arc tool and well, actually what I'd like to do first courses make a new layer so I'll make a new layer make sure it's current make that arc right and then just go to the handles and adjust the the arc so it looks a little little nicer I think I just need a line for this one right Okay, so just sort of moving your way through and fixing some of the... So with these really complex surfaces, Revit does have obviously an issue with getting these correct. So, all right, I'm not going to go through and go through every single one of these. Um, but you can come in and sort of clean this guy up. And then if I turn, you know, this guy back on, then you get a nice sort of combination between the two. Um, you could play with it a little bit, you know, like if I turn that guy back off and then, you know, select all those guys, we could still maybe thicken that stroke up a little bit, like we went to one point, right? and you can deselect and then come back because the red's pretty strong and now you're seeing you getting a sort of a line there. Um, let's take a look at a couple that I've already made. I go see. So that's the one I just made. Here's another um, combined one. Let's see. Let's go to this one. This is a PDF of a combined section. So if I go to my layers here, I've got a few different layers. Layer 5 is the rendering, right? And then I broke in a, the fill into one, the elevation lines into one, and then the section lines into one so I could control them separately. And then what you get is a composite like that. So I don't know. It's an interesting thing to use if you want to. Um, lots of different options for it. Um, once you're done, of course, you can just 
export it as a JPEG or do whatever you want with it. All right.